What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today, we're gonna make Texas toast on the Blackstone E-Series electric griddle. Now, I'm not saying I'm gonna make it exactly like Texas toast because that will be hard to do. Texas toast is my all-time favorite garlic bread, especially the five cheese. Uh, but I'm gonna try to do my best to get close. So stick around to see how I do. If you are new to the channel, what we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. If you're a current subscriber, thank you guys for all your support. We really do appreciate it. Keep hitting that thumbs up and commenting down below. Everybody, let's get cooking. All right, here we go. As you can see, we are starting off with this brioche bread from Fresh Market. It's got knots on the top but it is definitely a square loaf, which is what we want for our Texas toast. Look how fresh that is. It's a little pricey, but let me tell you, this bread was incredible. And once we slice it up, you won't even see those knots. So you wanna slice these up about a good inch, minimum inch apart. You want those nice thick slices. That's the whole reason why we're getting this unsliced loaf to begin with. You can use regular bread from the grocery store that's already sliced, but it's not gonna look like this. Look at that, that is beautiful. So I sliced up four slices, and then we have some butter here. That's about four tablespoons. We melted about halfway, and then we're gonna take our squeeze garlic and just put about a good three squeezes of that in there. And I'll put all the uh, amounts in the description below, and then some Italian seasoning, that's it. And then some onion powder. About a teaspoon of that. Again, amounts in the description below, some salt. And this is gonna be like our garlic butter paste, if you will. And you wanna mix that real good. We'll go a little fast here. And this is what it looks like once you're done. So next up, real simple, we're just gonna spread it on our bread slices. That's it, spread it out. I like to, I like to do even uh, spoonfuls, so I kinda of have them pretty evenly spread. You can always add a little bit more later on. And that's it, just spread them out nice and evenly. You wanna make sure you get it on coated everywhere because we are gonna to toast this up on the Blackstone. So nice and even, here's what it looks like. That's it, we get our Blackstone preheated to 350. I drop it down to 325 and then pss, we put that toast down and listen to that sizzle. That is what I'm talking about. So at this point, you just want to make sure your bread is pushed down a little bit so it gets that good sear on that, uh, on that garlic paste, garlic butter. Push it down and that's it. You wanna check it uh, every couple minutes, I'd say. It doesn't take long with that stuff on there. I mean, it looks pretty good. It needs a little bit more time there. Just checking it after about two minutes. Just give it a little longer until you like the way it looks. You want it nice and brown, just like this though. So we use our turners here and flip them over once we get it to where we like. And that's where I liked it, right there. Once we get it turned over, you can see another angle there with that golden brown crust. It's exactly what you want. Now it's time to add our cheese. On the left there, we have a mixture of mozzarella and provolone. So that's two cheeses. So just spread it evenly. Doesn't have to be beautiful and you don't want to load it up too much, but just nice coverage. Then we're gonna add our medium cheddar that I grated myself. And again, you don't want to cover it up. You want a mixture of the white and the yellow. So cheddar, provolone, mozzarella. And then once you get that on there, then some Asiago, fresh grated Asiago, all four slices. And then finally our fifth cheese, which is our Parmesan, fresh grated Parmesan right on top of that. These five cheeses are gonna melt together so nicely. And then one more step here, we are gonna add a little bit of color, some chopped up parsley, fresh parsley. Just gonna give a little bit of color and that's it. <laughs> After that, we just want to move them over to the side on the cool zone because we don't want them to over toast on the bottom. 
but we definitely want them toasted. We're gonna shut that lid, uh, crank up the heat a little bit, and then I almost forgot here to give it a little bit of steam. So we are going to lift the lid here, give a little bit of water in the middle there, let it steam up, and just let her sit. It takes about a good four to five minutes to get that cheese nice and melted. So about four to five minutes later, we lift it up, and this is what we get. I mean, that is beautiful. One final close-up. Look at that melted cheese. Look at the color. Look at the toasted bread. This is some serious Texas toast. Let's go check it out. Hoo-wee! <laughs> Five cheese Texas toast, homemade, big cat style. All right, I don't know if it's gonna taste anything like Texas toast, the one you buy frozen. That's gonna be really hard to beat because that is one of my favorites all time. But I figured we'd give it a shot. It looks delicious, smells delicious, and was not hard to do on the Blackstone. So first, a close-up. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Whew. All right. I'm not sure which one to grab. Uh, how about this big one right here? Looks good. The bottom is nice and toasted brown, but not burnt. Looks good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The cheese, that five cheese, is delicious. That garlic, you can taste that garlic for sure. The bread is a little too sweet, I'm thinking. Should have used a different type of bread. I had such a hard time, but I found this. Um, so maybe not go with brioche next time, but man, it tastes really good. Good crunch too. Everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.